third. The quarter was 28 seconds flight. Captain Brady has established command closing as post time favorite. Snoop Smites races along in second up to three eighths completion and Jayport Express took in early from third with heavy raincoat laying just off the leaders from fourth and Kingdom took in early to race it off into the top five. Just ahead of Dead Man's Curve back there in sixth position. The trailing trio are unchanged. Classic commotion, where we eagle, and three more lengths to you are so incredible. Captain Brady, first to the half in 58 and 4. The front end respect his 30 and 4 fifths in the second quarter. Now coming out first up is Heavy Raincoat. On to the final turn. Snoop Spites has been the pocket sitter. Jayport Express on the inside, fourth, and squeezing out was King Dom, loosely gapping second over into the top five. Dead Man's Curve is sixth on the outside over to the head of the stretch. Ahead of Classic Commotion, you are so incredible and trailing is where we eagle along the inside they'll turn for home chasing the captain Brady heavy raincoat is trying to get closer losing ground back in the pocket with Snoop Spites 128 and 1 three quarter time captain Brady looking strong into the stretch heavy raincoat couldn't get close kingdom is cut loose in the middle of the track captain Brady Richie with the whip in the air but it's only for minimal urging captain Brady is extraordinarily strong through the stretch he's nursed up to the wire to win the second gold elimination. Finishing second was King Dom, heavy raincoat third, looking for fourth dead man's curve, Captain Brady in a stunning 155 and four. Mohawk, the second gold series elimination. Balanced image, three-year-old Kelting from Soignier Cash. Owned by Dantera Standard Breads of Strathroy, trained by Dan Creighton, and driven to victory by Trevor Ritchie. His third win in four starts this year. A remarkable 155-4 and four in the first gold event in the month of May. Night to the breeders of the elimination winners. In the first race, 6JM Van Gogh, bred by R.K. Joe Miskakoman. And here in the third race... Captain Brady, bred by Diane Ingham and Harry Rutherford. In just moments, we'll join He's up. been making some mistakes. That's been his Achilles heel so far. Uh, how did he handle tonight? He was very good. About halfway through the lane, uh, I felt him just get a little bit sleepy on me, and, and I put the whip over his uh, rear just to remind him to keep on going, which I really didn't want to do because uh, he was going lots anyway, but I had to keep his attention a little bit, and that's why he won as much as he did. So still some minor kinks to try and work out? Yeah, he's still got a little, uh, uh, few little chinks in his armor, but uh, n nothing serious. But I think if we can get them ironed out, uh, he's got a world of talent. Are they uh, mental things he has to overcome, or, or physical, or a combination? I think it's a little com combination of both. He, uh, you know, he wants to get a little bit too aggressive sometimes, for one thing, and uh, he's maybe got a few little physical uh, aches and pains too. Still far too early to tell uh, what kind of career this guy might enjoy down the road, but uh, from a talent level, and you've driven the likes of Banker Hall, Yankee Paco, is he in that same league? I really believe he is. Uh, at this stage of the game, uh, he, can, he can go as fast as pretty well any uh, trotter uh, you know, at, at uh, his age uh, that I've ever driven can go. Okay, well, good luck with him next week. Thanks, Greg. Trevor Ritchie, Captain Brady, an eye-catching winner tonight. 155-4, 27-3 on the end. Certainly one of the horses to beat next week in the final.